Welcome to the Nothing Nerdy presentation on just forces. What is a force? A force is a push, or a pull, or a twist, or a bend, or a turn, or a squash, or a stretch. And there are always two objects involved, one which is exerting the force and the other which is experiencing the force. So it's exerted by one object on another object. So for example, the glove is pushing the face, the athlete is pulling himself up, the hand is twisting the tap, the pig is bending the board, and so on. We have different types of forces. One type is action at a distance. Let's have a look. The balloon is picking up the paper without touching the paper at first. The magnet is pulling on the metal. The leaf is being pulled down by gravity. These are non-contact forces. Electrostatic is the balloon. The leaf is pulled by gravitational force and the magnet is pulling on the metal. We've also got contact forces where things are touching. So let's have a look. Here the plane is being pulled by drag and lifted by lift and pushed forward by thrust. They're all contact forces of the air pushing on the plane. We've also got weight in this diagram, but that's a non-contact force, which is gravitational. Tension is the force that you get in a rope. These two people are pulling the rope and you can see that the tension is pulling on each of those people. The rope is exerting a force on the pink and the green person. Here we've got somebody running or jumping and they are pushing down on the ground with a force which is labeled driving action and the ground is pushing up with a force called reaction. And then we have friction. The box is trying to move to the right under the force, but friction is a force that is trying to stop it moving in that direction, and friction is a contact force. So our contact forces are reaction, thrust, drag, air resistance, friction, lift, and tension. Let's talk about vectors. A vector is a quantity with both magnitude and direction. Here are some examples. A force of 3,000 newtons downwards. We have to state the direction. In this case, it's downwards. A velocity of 300 meters per second east. Again, it's a vector. A displacement of 20 centimeters to the right. Here are some scalars. They've only got magnitude. They have no direction. Power of 1,500 watts. Speed of 300 million meters per second, but no direction. Temperature of 300 degrees Celsius. The definition of vector, as I said, is a quantity with both magnitude and direction. Here's an example, a velocity, a force, an acceleration, displacement. Scalars have no direction. Speed is an example. Speed is a scalar, begins with S. Velocity is a vector, begins with V. They measure the same thing, except that velocity has a direction. Distance is a scalar. There's no direction involved. Displacement is the same as distance, except it has a direction. Energy, volume, temperature. All scalars, no direction. There's a special way of adding them together. I'm going to use forces as an example. They're vectors. They're added according to special rules, and the sum of a number of forces is called the resultant force. In a straight line, they're added and subtracted depending on their direction. We show their direction using a plus or a minus, or in this case, in the diagram. So we've got V1 plus V2 plus V3, all to the right. V4 is a force in the other direction to the left and we're adding them by a method which we call 
nose to tail. So we add each vector on the nose of the previous one. The resultant is the red vector, VR, and it begins at the beginning of the green vector, V1, and ends at the end of the final green vector, V4. That's how you add vectors. This works for forces, but it would also work for velocities or displacements. Here's a numerical example. We can treat it like directed numbers. So here's a red object with three forces on it. 300 newtons and 150 newtons to the right, and 350 newtons to the left. We're going to decide to say that the positive direction is to the right. We could have said to the left. It doesn't matter. You'll still get the right answer. So here's the addition. 300 plus minus 350, because 350 newton goes to the left, plus 150, and the result is 100. So the resultant force is 100 newtons to the right. Let's have a look. There it is. 100 newtons is the force which has the same effect as those three. So that was just forces. Thank you for listening.